Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here, owner of Automation Links. Thank you so much for checking out my automation program. And this is where I'm gonna help you automate your entire business. Now, this is a quick lesson of my course and how we're gonna be able to help you and what you're gonna learn uh, just by going through this page and getting to my next steps. So, automating your business is complicated. It may seem complicated. You may have never done it, or maybe you've tried and just failed in the past. But when you automate your business, you save time, you get more clients, you make more money, your business is able to scale. And if that's what you truly want, you want your business to keep growing, then you need to have some sort of automation in place to continue to scale. Now, if you scroll to the bottom of this page, uh, I'm gonna give you my six step guide uh, to automation. And this is a quick guide that you can use. You can download it. You'll get access to it right away. Use that to start automating your business. Start thinking about ways that you can uh, start connecting things and what you want your end result to be. And then when you're done with that, we'll give you a, a, I'll do a quick call and I'll evaluate your automation and I'll give you any feedback and advice you may want. So when automating your business, you wanna have a blueprint. And this is my first lesson in my automation course is how to set up a blueprint. You have to have the blueprint in place first before you start building any automation. Same thing as if you were building a house. If you don't have a blueprint, that house is gonna get built all wrong, right? And same thing for your business. If you think that you can just start connecting automation and not have a plan, you may be able to get some things connected, but the entire funnel, the entire flow that you want your clients to go down will probably never get completed. So I really wanna encourage you guys to set up a blueprint, build it, plan it, and create that system, and then you can start actually implementing it because you can follow these steps. A lot of times, as you may set up this step here, but may get confused and forget about some steps down here, Clients will go down it, they'll get the wrong email, they'll get the wrong message, they'll get a text message at one in the morning, which I've seen before. We don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna walk you through my basic blueprint here. Sometimes simple is better just to get set up. So what we wanna do is start with your homepage and a landing page, right? So you have your website uh, that can convert people uh, from your homepage, and then you can have a landing page that will take traffic from other sources. Homepage can take traffic from like Google, um, your social media profiles, and then a landing page, you can take traffic from posts that you do, uh, different interaction tools, Messenger, and even any ads if you end up doing those. So you wanna start here. What's the homepage and landing page gonna look like? And then what's the copywriting in there? What is What are the messages saying in here? They need to relate to your customer. So in lesson number two of my automation course, we go over the copywriting. What's those pain points your customers are experiencing? Because when they land on this page, they may not go any farther. So did you know the average website only gets a 1% conversion rate? So what about the other 99% of people that have come to your page? They leave because they don't think that you are the right fit or they don't see that you're helping them with their pain points. So if you do automation right, you're not only gonna have the system in place, but you're also gonna get more customers from the homepage and landing page because you're speaking their language, you're talking about their pain points. And I've seen this go as high as 15% conversions just by changing the copywriting. All right, now there's two funnels that we can go down. One is for service-based businesses, whether it's a local business or you offer services like coaching, um, or there's e-commerce. And then I'll show you a quick overview of each one, um, each flow, whether it's a service or an e-commerce. So let's start with a service-based business. You have to build a relationship with somebody when they come to these pages. They're not just gonna come there and buy from you without ever knowing you. So if I'm gonna work with a chiropractor, a doctor, a coach, I wanna have a relationship and know exactly how they're gonna help before I go and pay them, right? Same goes for you. You have to create that relationship. So right here, G is gonna be a guide. Can you give them a free guide? Can you give them something in exchange for their contact details? As an example, on this page, if you fill out the form below, you're gonna get my six-step guide. And this is a free resource that's gonna help you. In exchange, you're giving me your name and email, which I will use very carefully just to build a better relationship. After that, you wanna be able to message them somehow. So, hey, how can I help? This is through email, through Facebook Messenger, through live chat, through text message. How can you communicate with them automatically after they get something for free on your homepage or landing page? So after they get the guide or whatever it is for your business, you have to give them something. And especially before you ask them to come down here and schedule, right? Because they don't know if you're a good fit yet. They don't know that you can help them. They don't know you yet. So don't ask them to just go schedule right away. Build a relationship by giving them something in exchange for their contact details so you can follow up with them. Now, a lot of people talk about six, eight follow-up emails. So let's just start simple. Let's just do three whether it's an email, text, or a phone call, 
follow up with the person and you want to give them some value. So email number one is the free guide right here. This is exactly what you asked for. You can also include your schedule link in there. That's not a problem. Put it in the PS footer or something like that. Number two, you want to show testimonials of people just like them that had the same pain points and how you were able to help them solve it. And email number three can be that call to action. Are you ready to sign up? Can you schedule a call? Do you have more information? So this is a very simple automation, but if it's set up properly, you're going to convert more leads from the homepage and landing page. All right. If you're an e-commerce business, you obviously want them to go to the shop, which is the S right here. So they come to your website, they go to your shopping page. Now, a lot of times the businesses just send them right to the cart and check out and start checking out. And then the person may leave. So what happens is when they start adding their products together in your e-commerce shop and they get to the end where it's the shipping and they see the shipping price or they see um, different things like that, they may leave. They may get busy. E-commerce is usually a three or four step process to get them to that shopping cart if they're adding on bundles or other products. So they may get busy and they may leave. But what happens about getting them back? How do you get them back? So I always recommend add the email form here where they give you the email before they actually get to the checkout, add a Facebook messenger bot here so they can opt into that also. And then if they do abandon the cart, now you can follow up with them on email and messenger, follow up through email or messenger, right? So in e-commerce and I've seen e-commerce businesses skyrocket by 30% just by having the email messenger. Oh, I got busy. I didn't complete the, the checkout. So I'll go back to that link. And then you're able to follow up with them through email, which is very important, whether they check out or they don't. So you can continue building relationships, sending them sales, getting them back. Um, so that's very important. All right, so you're gonna see the next step in this automation after you fill out the form below. So go ahead and test it out, get my six step guide for free. And then what we wanna do is give value, but then give options also. So gone are the days when people would watch an hour long webinar. People are too busy for that. They already know you're gonna to try to sell them at the end. So why don't you just give them the information real quick, see if it's a good fit, and then when they're ready to buy, they'll reach back out to you. So after they hit the home page and landing page, you're gonna to go to page number two, which is where you're gonna get the free guide, which you'll see in mine as, a, as an example. And then you're gonna see a video training. So this is just a sample of the video course that I'm, I provide where you can learn how to do automation on your own. But on this next step, I'm actually gonna give you a free training that shows you every step of the way. The blueprint, the copywriting, and all the automation that comes after. So you're gonna get a free video training from me, and then you're gonna see the price. You're gonna see how much it costs for my automation course to learn how to do it on your own. You're gonna learn and see how much it's gonna cost for us to just do it for you if you don't have time to learn how to do it on your own. And then most importantly, if you have questions, you're not sure if it's a good fit, or you just wanna find out more, you can schedule a free consulting call with me. So I help people and I consult businesses on their automation. So most likely you're gonna watch my video training, you're gonna get my free guide, and you're not gonna buy anything from me today. That's totally cool. But at least schedule a call so we can talk about the automation, how it can help your business, I can give you some free tips. And then when you're ready, or if you ever need help in the future, just come back and you can reach out to me and I'll help you out with that. Same thing for your business. Give video training, build relationships with them, give them options, show them the price up front of how much it costs, but also allow them to schedule and ask more questions to see if it's a good fit. Are you doing that right now in your business? Do you have this automation in place?